Norton and Wilson are very excited to present our fourth release, a fresh fougere scent from the illustrious perfumer John Stephen. Gravitas Essentia is the sequel to our acclaimed debut release, Gravitas Pour Homme. The strident yet refined core of Gravitas is retained with an extra level of invigorating freshness added to the composition. The note of mint gives an energizing and refreshing boost and lifts the citrus notes to a new level of prominence. Bay leaf gives a distinctive and appealing green twist and the new note of Artemisia brings a clean camphorous tone. If you loved Gravitas pour on, you will likely be blown away by this amazing sequel. Follow the link in the description to buy it in the UK, USA and Canada at www.nortonandwilson.com Hello folks, this is a quick pronto gonzo video. So we're going to talk about my top selections, actually my rotation, what I'm actually going to wear this summer and very off the cuff and very unrehearsed. Let's see if you guys like it. Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget, by the way, it's going to be featured in this video, actually my new release here or our new release, I should say Gravitas Essentia from Norton and Wilson is now available to buy an amazing twist on the original Gravitas pour on Gravitas Essentia is still an aromatic fougere, but with an added freshness and citrus element really but we've got mint added to the original formula we've got artemisia and we've got bay leaf along with the original citrus opening with patchouli and lavender amazing fresh classic style fragrance really really good stuff go to the link in the bio norton and wilson.com to get your bottle now in the usa canada and the uk speaking of the usa if you want to buy fragrance samples in the usa canada or puerto rico please go to myfragrancesamples.com that is the only place i recommend to go and get your fragrance samples there and amazing range of designer and niche fragrances. So here is my, this is my genuine rotation of about six or seven things that I'm going to keep grab, grabbing. And you can see these all have a dent, so I do use these. Number one, then, you don't hear much about this, Chanel Eau de Cologne, 2007 composition from the legendary Jacques Polge. And this one is in their exclusives range. It costs a little bit more than the regular designer fragrances. And, of course, people talk about things like Coromandel, or what is it? Is it Bois de Zils? And all, so all these wonderful creations in this range. But many people don't bother to mention this, which is an exquisite example of a traditional eau de cologne in the style of things like 4711, perhaps therefore similar to Neroli Portofino from Tom Ford or Eau de Cologne Imperial from Galan. A classic citrus Neroli musky scent. Very, very clean, fresh and soapy. Amazing on a, if you're in a heat wave or something. Pure class. Is it a lot to pay for a refined version of 4711? Yes. Is it perhaps worth it? I think it could be, you know. Next up, this is actually kind of similar, weirdly similar in the smell. So, hmm, uh, interesting. This is Jimmy Choo Man Ice. Pick this one up for a price of about £30. I think it was in, uh, where was it? House of Fraser or something. Uh, amazing uh, price I got on that one. This one smells very similar, actually, to the old Diorum Sport Cologne, which I think you can't buy anymore. It basically smells like lemon orange, kind of lemonade, real lemonade on your skin. But if you poured a little real lemonade on your skin, it'd be very sticky. But this has the same very fresh, uplifting, natural citrusy effect. Not terribly complex. But again, serves the same purpose. If it's a searingly hot day and you want to smell amazing in that kind of uh, circumstance, but without spending hundreds of pounds or dollars, Jimmy Choo Man Ice, I tell you what, it is really rather exquisite. So Jimmy Choo Man Ice, an amazing cheapie. And again, I'm going to put some real dent in there. A little bit of action is going to go on with that bottle, which I recently acquired when I just can't be bothered to think too much. And it's a hot, sunny day. We do, believe it or not, we get some of those in the UK over summer. Eventually, we usually get sort of a week of horrendous heat wave and then absolute crap rain the rest of the summer. Next up, you may be surprised, Spice and Wood, something of a favourite for me on summer holidays. When I used to go on summer holidays with Claire from the Smurfy Girly channel, often this one was taken along, and it really works well on an evening in the summer heat. So a beautiful combination of vetiver, citrus accords, and spices, as you, you might be uh, not that surprised to find. There's a bit of clove, uh, possibly co coriander, and a vetiver base in this one. Exquisite. This is the Thinking Man's Aventus. And, of course, it costs more than Aventus because it's from their more exclusive high-end range. And it really does work well, actually. Even on a, in a really hot sort of country or something like that, it works surprisingly well. Just trying to get the focus there. So everything's focused. Well, okay, that'll have to, it's going to have to do, isn't it, guys? Um, highly recommend that one. So spice and wood. Next up, this is hard for you folks to find. So I do apologise. So we're going to go with Dolce and Gabbana. Pour on the vintage made in Italy version. This is incredible. A citrus aromatic fragrance again. Great citrus vetiver and herbal accords mixed with a twist of green dry tobacco, which gives this this magic airy, wistful '90s vibe. A, a '90s optimism in a bottle. 
and perfect for wearing a white shirt on a night out in Italy, Spain or anywhere else in southern Europe on a fantastic summer holiday. You have to get the sticker version. That means it's Euro Italia made in Italy original version. The other versions don't stink. They're not terrible, but they're not quite as good. Might surprise you with the next choice. We're going to go with Invasion Bar Bar from MDCI. Again, a bit like the Spice and Wood, although they don't smell that similar. I find this works really rather well on a summer's evening. It has It's a very powdery fougere. It's sort of a neo fougere, an oriental fougere, dare I say. So it has fresh citrus bergamot, has a twist of ginger, powdery accords, and a little bit of vanilla in the bottom. So it's a powdery, spicy, soft, and beautifully composed and balanced fougere. Again, just very calming on a balmy evening. Okay, but either a B-A-L-M-Y evening that's balmy, or if you're English like me, you can go B-A-R-M-Y, balmy, in your Union Jack boxer shorts in Magaluf. What better fragrance to do that with than Invasion Bar Bar? Obviously, all, all of these tending to lean fresh, which we tend to prefer in summer, but it's not it's not compulsory. Um, Next one, Discontinued Gem. Habit Rouge Sport. What an incredible twist on the original Habit Rouge. It's got that fantastic citrus with rose and a little bit of benzoin. This one has a weird note of bamboo. I don't really detect that, but it's just incredible, strange, uh, floral, semi-exotic twist on the original Habit Rouge with this sort of juicy, fruity uniqueness. I can't really put a finger on what the difference is with Habit Rouge. It is quite different, but they've really done something amazing and clever you get a bit of the original habit rouge but it has this almost a tiny hint of a sort of aquaticness i don't know how bamboo smell maybe it's a bamboo i don't i've never smelled bamboo what am i a panda i don't know i tell you what though this is an amazing fragrance if you can pick it up for a reasonable price it is now discontinued it used to be very affordably available online don't hesitate next up then folks we're nearly at the end actually already we're going to talk about one that really really is a must include and talk about in this video and which i have somehow misplaced of course that is my my new one then gravitas sent here from Norton and Wilson go to the link in the bio this has been working so well for me already in early spring and I'm really looking forward to that as a, I mean if, if I was in a high heat wave and I just really wanted a soapy refreshment okay eau de cologne Chanel or similar would probably be my option there but Gravitas pour on fantastic for summer weather sort of milder summer days here in the UK when it's not searingly hot and then any time when you're out in the Mediterranean or wherever or in Miami or um, LA in, in the USA where it gets really hot in the evening very classy sophisticated bright minty citrus leaning fougere stunning composition from our perfumer john stephen and of course it would be highly remiss for me therefore not to i mention the other option well all of our fragrances could be worn in summer but this one does lean seasonally summerish and that is bon viver norton and wilson's bon viver different vibe it's perhaps the more fresh of the ones you know, more, most fresh even more leaning fresh than gravitas ascentia maybe incredible citrus opening gin and tonic accord in there lemon verbena and just uh, vetiver too something really incredible and it has this kind of spiciness in the mid too so citrus spiciness woods and a little bit of a gin and tonic vibe but more complex and, and less um, one-dimensionally refreshing, not that there's anything wrong with being one-dimensionally refreshing, than Eau de Cologne from Chanel, etc. It's, again, a rich, complex fragrance. Not, not, not going to be for everybody, let me be completely frank with you. That's pretty much, I mean, that's more than enough for one summer. It's more than most people own full stop. What a silly hobby we have, let's be honest. Folks, let me know what, of you, what you think of my selections in the comments down below. I will leave it there. Remember, whatever you're doing in life, let's project, and although life may well stink... At least we, with, with these fragrances, can always smell good. See you in the next one. If you liked this video, please do subscribe. Or even if you didn't like it, subscribe anyway. You never know. The next one could be better. It could hardly be worse. See you next time, guys. Bye.